I'm John Martinez and today we're going to talk about rigging for halibut. And the items that we need are 80 pound test monofilament leader, we need miracle thread which is stretchy string, we need some P-line white squid, these are nice UV squids, they're inexpensive squids, it's a good way to go. These are 7 inch, uh, 1 or 2 pound weights and we're going to need a size 6 corky and a spreader bar. So the first part of the rigging is you take the spreader bar and you tie up a couple 9 or 10 odd hooks on the end of the 80 pound leader and use your P-line white squid and see this corky that's on the line right here? This corky is nothing more than to use as an insert and that is going to go right inside the squid like so. And so that will make it so that the hooks do not pull through the head of the squids. And you can see here this halibut leader is only about uh, 18 inches long. So the next part of the setup is using a herring. This is one of the best tricks that I'm ever going to show a halibut fisherman. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull the squid up and we're going to take the herring and the hook and we're going to take the hook and put it through the bottom of the herring's jaw and out through the top of his head. And we're going to take the other hook and we're going to lay it right alongside the herring like so. And then we're going to take our magic thread, we're going to start wrapping the herring right down here by the tail and we're going to wrap around the first hook. It doesn't matter what it looks like, you continue to wrap, you wrap all the way to the head of the herring and then wrap back and tie that off a couple times with a couple half inches. and you can just break this thread off. Now your herring is secure on there. That herring will stay on there all day. Adjust the hook so it sticks out a little bit. Now you can take your squid and put that right over the top of the herring. So that's what your, that's what your rig's going to look like right there. So now you're ready to attach this to your line. To the end of my fishing line I have about a one aught swivel and I have about 18 inches of 50 pound test monofilament line. You have to have this on the end of your braided line or else your braided line will break from repeatedly pounding on the bottom. This is a 100 pound test swivel and I'm going to snap this to the end of the spreader bar. Now you're ready to go. Catch the weight. And our spreader bar halibut setup is ready to go. Now you can just let this to the bottom and you're ready to catch a halibut. If you need more information on salmon, lingcod, halibut, shrimp, and crab, consider buying my book, The Saltwater Fishing Journal for Fishing Puget Sound and the San Juan Islands.